Hello and welcome to Part Zero, my video series in the Blender Game Engine. In this video tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to use the free, amazing tool, Blender, to create 3D games. If you don't yet have Blender on your computer, you can go ahead and go to www.blender.org and get the latest version. And as of this recording date, the latest version is Blender 2.74. Now in this video series, I'm going to be assuming that you know the basics of how to use Blender. I'm going to be assuming that you know how to do things like navigate in 3D space, add, move, rotate, and scale objects, but we'll be working exactly from that point on. If you're not sure how to use Blender or you haven't used Blender before, I've made over 100 videos on this topic already on my channel, and I'll put a link to some of those video series in the description area below. Besides having free Blender installed on your Windows PC, your Mac, or your Linux computer, you also need a wheeled mouse. And the reason for this is because Blender, in order to navigate in your 3D space, requires you to have a middle mouse button, which also works very well with a wheeled mouse. So what I recommend is a Logitech wired wheel mouse. And you can get one of these anywhere from between about $10 and $20. It's very, very worth your investment. In this video series, I'm going to be showing you how to create 3D games without programming. This is possible because Blender has what's called the Logic Editor window. And in this Logic Editor window, you can create what are called logic bricks in order to connect different concepts. Sensors, controllers, and actuators which represent programming without ever having to type one line of code. In the very next video in this series, I'm going to be showing you how to create character movement and physics within the 3D game engine, which means that you will create a character in the very next video that falls with gravity and that you can control with the arrow keys on your keyboard. In following videos, we'll be looking at how to create a simple first-person shooter setup using Blender's new mouse look actuator, how to detect collisions between your character and other objects, like collectible items or bad guys in your game, keeping track of scores or collected objects, the ability to switch between different screens of your game, or even different levels, how to create mouse clickable buttons in your game menus, how to create timers, how to create health bars or limited ammunition, how to create a heads-up display or an overlay which lets you put items on top of your playable game screen, I'll be showing you how to create rapid fire shooting, how to integrate animation into your game, as well as how to create an animated walking character that you control in a 3D environment, and the list goes on. So on the screen right now, I've put a link to this tutorial series on the Blender Game Engine Basics. Also, if you need to brush up on your Blender, I've put a link to my video series in Blender 2.7 and my Blender 2.6 Basic Tutorial Series. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you'll find me at facebook.com slash borncg, and on Twitter, I'm at borncg. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.